So when you so when you create your account, your free account, um, I hopefully y'all was on yesterday when y'all saw Brother Iggy do it. He went in, he logged in, but we're gonna do a, a little mock-up real quick. So basic mock mock-up. You select this, submit, and then it's gonna bring you into the first part of BSCO. So this is what you guys see when you first go on 14 day trial set up and you're like, okay, well, what's next? So what's next is actually, you have to go ahead and select one of these templates. And when you select one of these templates, it's gonna bring you up one of these themes. When you get to the themes, you just go ahead and start with this theme, put test in here because most likely this is gonna be your first one just to get your account created and then skip this step. And this is gonna initiate BizCo into setting up your, your account. Now that now you're, then it'll say hi JK. And for every one of these, you'll have a little video. Please watch the video. <laughs> Make sure y'all watch those videos because It'll, it's going to help you a lot more to go ahead and watch these videos and get you acclimated into BizCo. So when you have the tutorials, they'll pop up every time you go to a new screen. But like I said, this will be recorded. So the next time that y'all come into orientation, we'll play this little video again. So y'all keep getting refreshes and you will, you will know what to do because it's going to take you a couple of times just to get used to it. Cause since it got so much in it, 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 it'll tear your head up. So what we do after that, most people go in and they look around, they click, try to see what's up with the widgets and all that. What I suggest you guys do is go into your dashboard right now. We actually having an, uh, an incentive for uh, BS code to, so you can get a, a discount in. If you're gonna do that, go ahead and go to the upgrade. You'll see the two plans, whichever one that you want, go here and you can put your information in, but make sure you put in BS code 1030 and then you apply this discount code and this is gonna give you a discount code for the first month. And this is how you have all of this stuff put in, in the order, good to go, save all your money. All right. So now when you're going in here, you'll go back to the builder. So what I'm going to give you guys is a general run through of what I did first. When you come in here, the first thing you want to do is set up your, 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 your account like payment wise, don't worry about nothing else, but get your payment stuff set up. So you're gonna go in here and see what it says, payment method, you'll connect your payment method. Now you'll see payment providers, it, it won't say anything, but once you click onto it, then it brings all of them up, all of them. So Stripe, PayPal, Afterpay is the one that everybody uses now because it allows you payments. They'll send you, they're going to send you one lump sum. And then they'll, the people will actually pay the company. So you're going to get all the money on the back end, on the front end. And then the people, whatever they do, they fault on their payments. It faults with the company and the company handles. And the same one with this, um, Clara, they do the same exact thing after paying this one as well. But for most people, y'all have, you will have PayPal. This is where you want to go. And then once you go into PayPal, what you're going to do is just type in your email. And you, and then once you do this, which will be super simple, whatever your PayPal email is, type it in. That's it. Now, when you will see this checked, if you see this checked, uncheck it. Do not leave this checked. This is sandbox mode. That means no money will go into your account. Let me make clear to say that if this is checked, you will not receive payments. So 
make sure this is unchecked. And then after you do that, just press settings. That's it. That's it. Your PayPal is hooked up. That's it. So you don't have to do anything else. Your, your checkout page and all this, your privacy policies, you can add that in here on the back end. You can just get in general policies and just put in there. Your tax information, you can go in here and add whatever country. Uh oh, hold on. Y'all coming in now. Let me get in here. And you can get your business tax information as well. But I'm not going to dig deep into that right now. Make sure. Okay. So after this, I want to go into the CRM. This is where your contacts will be held. Even if you do not have, well, we do have an email autoresponder now, but just in case you did not have one, this is where all your contacts will be held. All of the people that have access to your courses, all the people that have paid and made a payment in, in your course, they'll hold everything in here. So you won't, worry, you won't have to worry about anything being lost. You'll have all your contacts here. You can tag them. You can add a tag to a new customer, customer one, customer two, customer three, and it will categorize them in the, by, by their tags. After that, you can go in and you can import, export, you can add them to a contact list. That is key because the exporting that stuff out, you can save that in a CSV file and keep it on your computer just in case you want to build, have a list of list of lists, and then you want to clear all this out because it gets hectic once you get like two, 3,000 people. And then, okay, I'm going to save this list, boom. Now nah, I got it out of there. So now the email automation. So I'm going to have to switch out and go to my original account. Uh-oh. Somebody on, on mute. Could you mute your mic for me, please? So you'll be in the, I'm going to have to go to the original account. And this is my personal account. So I'm going to show y'all how this looks when you set up your, um, your email autoresponder. Now be very, be mindful of this because I'm going to go in and show y'all two different things. So let me go here. These are my websites. So when you go in here, this is my primary website that I use for my course setup. So when you go in here, Yeah. <laughs> so when you go in here, when you want to set up a domain, now also remember you guys, we have the BizCo YouTube page as well. So it gives you more information, especially on setting up your domain. When you setting up your domain, you're going to go to this little gear and then you're going to go to domains and then you'll put your domain in here. Now I would suggest do not use GoDaddy. You can use Namecheap or Google domains, Namecheap or Google domains. The reason why I tell you to use Namecheap, it's going to be similar to this. You're going to see this exact same setup in in Namecheap, and I'll go and I'm gonna go to Namecheap so y'all can see that as well. So we don't have no confusion. So when you're setting the stuff up, when you're enabling, disabling your um, email or whatever. This is going to be really simple for you to have your email auto responded. Oh. Hold on, let me go. So with Namecheap, y'all will be, um, you'll be very much protected with Namecheap. You're going to get uh, one year of who is, who is protection with Namecheap. So what that actually does is people that come to your website and list with your site, it's going to protect them from getting those telephone numbers that you receive in the email. And then people start calling you and doing all that. That's what who is protection does. So.
So once you submit all of this, this is gonna bring you, this brings me to my page. And so y'all can see all my domains in here. And um, I have quite a, quite a few, but the one that I'm using right now is this Visco Academy one. So once you do that, you'll click and make sure y'all do this. This is, this is very, with name cheap, this is very cheap domains is like, you can find any discount things, but um, they, they usually have discounts. So you can end up getting your domains for $9 or $7 instead of you paying uh, $13, $14 with GoDaddy and all that. But I'm gonna show y'all how to get those discounts as well. So when you go into here, you see the Academy, go to manage. And what manage does is gonna send you to domain, product, share, transfer but what you want to do is go to advanced dns so when you go to advanced dns settings now you see what i was talking about now you see like a record at and then the web address so when you go back to bizco you'll see that the a record see it'll say record type in the middle but you'll see the value which is the web address and the host name which is the at and the www so now when you go back here, you will see it host right here. So that's the at www, the value, which is 34.202.63.70. And then once you do that, you will see it says automatic. At the end of this, when you just now putting this in here, it's gonna be a red check. So if I go in here and I add another A record, you see that little, see how it has a red check right there? When you go in, you'll click that red check and it'll, cir it'll circle and then the automatic thing will pop up and then your web address will be active. And once you do the same thing, you'll just type in, you'll go to the other one. Now, none of this will be here when you, when you go, come into here. So you'll go in here and you'll click C name. This is the next one. You'll click that. You're gonna go C name. You're gonna type in www. Don't put a dot after it. And then you'll put the actual domain name that you have. So if it's a uh, successful.com, you'll put that there. And then you'll go in here and then you'll click that check and then it'll be active. It's just one, one two clicks and that's it. On name sheet, you have to pay for the hosting, right? Yeah, yes, this is the hosting site in, on name sheet. So yeah, this is the hosting site, but it's cheap. So you'll get a you'll get a domain for like, and you can get this for seven dollars for a year. And then if you don't want to keep it afterwards, it's probably like I think it's like nine dollars and six cents after that but it's, it's more affordable for you guys. Is, is this for email? This is for, this is, hold on one second. You get, you get <laughs> don't get it. We, we gonna get to the email automation real quick because I don't wanna get you ahead because you're gonna have to do this before you can do the email automation. So now, once this once this turns green, if it if it's not set up right, it'll be red. So this is when you set up your domain. Remember, you're gonna have to set up your domain and connect it to your actual thing before you get it out. Gotta have that connected. So once you do that, then you're good to go. And now, the email automation that you're just talking about. So. This is the this is what everybody been looking for. Okay, before y'all do anything with email automation, don't press start, don't press nothing, don't do none of that. You're gonna go straight to the bottom where it says settings. You're gonna click that. Boom. So when you see this, and I'm so glad I didn't do this. Now, it's gonna verify your domain. But for you to actually 
get a email so I can put my sender name. That's going to be my name. I'll send Jason. And what you'll see here is the default system email. Okay. These are going to be the emails that you send it out from. So um, we're going to hold off on that. This is what you, this is what you're going to be looking at when it comes to uh, well, if I can see if I can get it to show. No, it ain't gonna show it. Okay. So let me go to another site. Let's uh, see. Email automations. So the ones that's not done. So when y'all see a connect to a domain you want you'll see this right here you'll say enter the domain i'll go find let me go find a domain to put in here i got so many all right i'll put this domain in here and it's going to ask to verify see when this comes up you guys this is what comes up so it's telling you verify the domain. What y'all what y'all will do is what I just I just took you to a minute ago. It's gonna be super simple. So we're gonna walk through this on on our end, on the back end real quick. Go in there, click manage, go to advanced settings. I, most of my stuff is already set up, so I don't have to keep doing it. So. I'm gonna go ahead and click this text message. This is what is gonna change a little bit. So on here, you're gonna see text record. This is gonna be this first one is gonna be text record. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, go in here. The host is gonna be at, and then I'm gonna place this. Okay, I'm gonna place this text record right here. Boom, then I'm gonna click, click the check. Done, that's it. That's the first part. Now we're gonna go back to C name. So this is a, uh, again, where you're gonna go back. I go back here, I'm gonna click this, name domain key. So instead of you putting www, you're going to put that key right here where it says host. But then, um... And then you'll go back here and get the client value. Mm -hmm. Click this. And then you're going to put that where it says target. Paste that. Hold it. And then you check that. Well, if my computer will allow me to check it, let me go back. Oh, boy. So once that, now you see all of this popped up. Now, since all of that is done, Usually I, I refresh it and then you'll see this pending. It's, it's going to take a while, but now that you see that it's pending, that's good. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go back real quick and um, make sure I set this up. Now, the one thing I can say when this is on, it's connected to another site. Which one I got it connected to? When it's connected to another thing or something like that, y'all saw that it's, I got this domain connected to another funnel or something. I'm going to have to figure out which one it is. But um, once you remove it or you do all of the, the other necessary steps to get it off, it'll show up green like the other ones. Oh uh, yeah, this the one that's on. Disconnect. Okay. 
so what we waiting on right now is for this thing to go through and add up the last part of the email autoresponder. So what I'm going to do is connect that domain that I just had, and I'm going to connect it back to here. And once I connect the domain, since it already has the stuff in here, it automatically goes active. So once you have the stuff that's approved on the other end, a name cheat, it automatically goes active. So you can, you can disconnect your domain and go connect it anywhere else you want to. Once it's already approved on the other end, it's just going to automatically activate it. You don't have to worry about the process. So now y'all see that it's verified. These are the ones that I just did. So it didn't take that long. So what you're going to do, enter your name. And the, what you got to do is this. Make sure y'all take key note of this. To activate your default sending system, you're going to put www at whatever that, that is that you said, bizcobuilder.com. The at symbol lets this know that it's a... Uh, that it's going to be a um, email. So after that, you'll see this pop up, and then you keep you'll do it just like that again, and that will be the ones that you'll send the email from. Because it took me a minute to get that to work. But whatever your domain is, you'll you'll have to put that in there. And then it'll fire off your actual emails. So if I may ask, is it for you? We can do this for multiple different emails from this one domain? Or would it just be set up that way to be at? And then we will have different sender names. It'll, it'll, it does. So for each domain that you have that's connected to that particular site, you're going to have to use that one as the email autoresponder. You can't use it for multiple ones. Okay. But, but, but most of the time, when you're dealing back and forth with the first website, like I tell people all the time when I'm on lives, make sure you make a dollar with the first site before you start going to the next site. Oh, no, I meant on the actual like um, info at Bizco Builders, customer service at Bizco Builder. Is that where this would come from? Yeah. OK, so I could could there be multiple names at this? Yeah. So see where it says default sender name. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. can put that right there. OK, but there can be multiple, like I was just saying, one for info, one for customer service, or is it just one? Just across? one. Just one. OK. Just one. Yeah, yeah. So if you want info at this, this, this dot com, you'll put that up there. But that's a good thing. I'm glad you said that. So we, I have that in mind so we can have multiple names. Glad you did say that. But see, now once you see, see all of this is saved, now mm -hmm. you'll be able to test your emails, send them out, automate them out. And that, that you're, you're good to go. And the best thing about it, I tell people all the time, go test. So when I get here, let me find a good template or something. I'll go in here, I'll find a template. I'll see if I wanna um, do that and I'm gonna test. And you can do split, split campaigns or regular campaign. Most likely I tell people to do split then you'll send a, you see where it says send a test email so I can send a test email out to, to myself. And boom, it's done. Like, so basically all of it, like the templates are set up for you, which is, which is amazing. Cause I love this because it's already built out and you, you don't really have to do too much. And then you can have the default list or whatever list that you want to create in here. And then you can go from there. You'll go from there. So that's just setting up that email autoresponder because I know it's going to be a lot of people ask about that. So that's pretty easy. 
I mean, save and exit. But you will see this is as a test one as a draft. Now, what I do do, hold on. So system will provide verification. Yeah. Yeah, you get verified with everything. You're going to have SSL, security, verification, all that. All of that stuff. All Everything is going to be in here. So when, when you get verified on one end, you get verified on the other end. So you're you're covered with biz code. All your security needs are covered. Yes, indeed. So let me go back in here. So those are the most important things that I want y'all to really make sure you have your payment set up. You have your email automations and all of that set up. Um, where your contacts will be. Let me see. Now we'll go through because get out of my site. Well, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through in here in this this dummy site. Most people, when they get in, they want to know like what it looks like. Um, just to have a regular funnel, I I would start from just a blank funnel. You can you can do an empty funnel and build it up. But most people, I suggest, I, I, I like this one right here, this course um, tutorial funnel. I, I just like the way it looked. So these are the ones that I usually gut out and I revamp the whole thing. So what most of y'all will do, go in, let's see. Where is it at? It's down here. I might not get, I might not get make no more. I made so many funnels. Hold on. Oh no, it logged me out of the other one. It logged me back into my personal account. That's something else that I want. If you in a test account <laughs> and you log into your personal account, it will log you back into your personal account. Appointments tabs for meetings. Uh, that's that's I'm not gonna that's gonna take a little bit long, Jim. But you can go to the uh the Bizco YouTube page and we have that part where the actual appointments come up. But you also when you come in here, it'll it'll bring up a video of, of how to set up the booking appointment system. So that's one thing that that you want to go ahead and watch. That like a lot of people are skipping that video and just trying to do it themselves watch the video video uh will help you through this part but yeah mo i got i got some of it on the bizco youtube page but i just want to get y'all through the um the basics of this first before we dig deep in because i'll dig deep in then like next monday because i don't want to um hold y'all too too long i'm trying to keep this down to like an hour or 45 minutes so what y'all want to do next is um, products. This is the one thing that I see a lot of people, y'all, the store products. When you come in, you want to add products. You go in here. Oh, Get out of here. Let me go back to the... Um, this affiliate funnel. Yeah. You want to go in here and add those products. So when you add products, go to store, hit this add product. So when you add a product, you can go in, you can either go physical, you can go physical, digital, service, or membership. If y'all if y'all have a question, make sure y'all put it put it in the chat and then I'll I'll read I'll read it. I want to try to make sure we keep the uh, the audio kind of clean. Um, so what right here of service membership or digital product. Most people right now will be for either service based or digital products. So digital products being like uh, ebooks and, and and stuff like that. PDFs or most people have like planners and all type of stuff. Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> so yeah, with the digital eBooks, 
you'll you'll put the ebook right here is where your product file is at. When you go in there, you can upload one. I don't put the black lady in there, but you upload a file. I think I got plenty of ebooks in there. I really do. But I'm gonna upload one to the system real quick. And find find one. Email marketing. Yeah, here an ebook right here. So I'll upload this and then it'll go through. Don't usually take that long for one of these to um upload. But once it's in there, it's in there, and then you'll see it right here, email marketing, hex PDF, and then I can select it. And there it is. That is it. So when they come in and they buy their product, they'll click on this, and then they'll be able to get their first download, and it'll tell you every link is unique and active for 24 hours after the first download. So, yeah, the next thing will be just to put a price on it. I put like twenty five dollars. Now it's two different ways that you can put a price. You can put an on sale price, which it'll show the original price of the product and the sale price. So if you want to put it like fifty nine dollars as the original price, and then the on sale price be twenty five dollars then you'll be good. But like I tell y'all, always use um, 99, anything. Anything y'all do, 25, 45, 99. I always add the 99 cents to it because you $1 away from having the, the next dollar amount. So I always put the 99 cent. That's a key. A lot of people be messing up with that, but put that. Then you can have you want to subscribe to it, so they, they can do do subscriptions on here as well. You can have be charged every ongoing subscription, every two months, every three months, all the way to 52 months. But this is the ongoing, so you want it to be charged. You can have weeks, whatever you like. Whatever day that they, they pay is going to be the day that they are charged. Remember I said that. This was trial and error through me. Whatever day that they pay is going to be the day that they charged. Now, if you want a, a select chart, like a select day that people be charged, do not do, um, don't do it in here. You'll get um, what they call strike. You'll go into Stripe. I had a, the way to set up automatic payments on Stripe on the YouTube page. But you'll go into Stripe and then Stripe will give you the option to have it on the 1st or 15th, whatever you like. Those are the two most common payment days. You already know, I see you smiling. You know, those are, those are the 1st or 15th, those are the payment days. So I go with what works. So those are the days. If you want additional information for the product, you can put it here, label information. Where well, y'all want to put the um, picture for the product, you put it over here. So um, email marketing. And I'm going to go through this with y'all uh, in another orientation. But how to, to really use Canva. If y'all not using Canva, better use Canva. Really better use Canva. So if you want a um, custom thank you page, you can put that. And then this is another thing where you can also, just in case they don't get the link, but sometimes they don't, you can go ahead and put it in here, add a URL link in here. But yeah, this can be another way to throw them to another product or something. But if you want a custom thank you page, you can build one in, inside of Canva and then Put, get the share link and place it right here. And then after they get out, they'll go to that custom thank you page and then they'll see that. Other than that, they'll just have a wonderful day. And once you go in here, you name your product, 
always name it. And then it's, it's going to have a category. Select your category, confirm it, save. That's your product. Easy as that. And you can have as many as you want. Easy and simple. You ain't got to be trying to beat your head together trying to figure out what to do. Now, the next thing we're going to go to is discounts. Special thing about Bizco, you can have discounts on here. They work. Now, the discounts do very well. Now, I'm going to go through the discounts. You had a flat rate discount. Yeah, you scared me, son. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, my little boy. Took a little of me with him because he scared the daylights out of me. Your uh, head whipped around so fast. <laughs> yeah, he don't never knock. He just opened the door. <laughs> That's cute. So, mm -hmm. so do you name your discount and then you put a discount code in? Two different things. The name of the discount and the discount codes are two different things. Do not make them the same thing. <laughs> Don't make them. You can put summertime discount and you can put summer 2021. That'll be the code. But don't make them the same thing. Now, now you can allow the discounts to other products. Don't. I'm going to just tell you now. You got one product, one discount. It can be automatically applied or they can apply. It. The next thing, the next thing is this, the date. It can have a expiration date. So it's August. It's my sister's birthday today. So I'll make it in on the 7th. So they got what roughly five days to get this. So once they, once they, cut this off that's the end they can't get the um discount after that day so you can make it exclusive to those particular days uh and then you can put it to you want it to all orders all over orders member group orders Category, categories of products. It can go to everything. I just go straight to products and then it's going to let you choose which product. So if I want it for the affiliate funnel, that's what it's going to be for. The monthly funnel, that's, it can be which one. It's going to let you choose which one you want. And that's really good because you can choose the categories or whatever, whatever you want, web, but actually go in and choose the product. That's what I tell y'all to do. Choose the product, select the product that you want it on, click that product, confirm it, save it, and then that's done. Now, if you want to do, that's flat rate. Now, if you're doing a percentage, it'll change up, but it looks pretty much the same. It'll tell a 100% discount. Now, the free shipping and handling, this was... Um, if y'all do free shipping and handling, y'all already know the name of the game. Put the money back into the price. The money goes into the price. So if you're doing free shipping and handling, the money goes actually into the price of the product. So they still paying shipping and handling, but you offering free shipping and handling. But you're still getting your, your the way to send it out. So that's the that's a, those are the discounts. Easy, simple. That's all you got to do. Load it up, run and gun, save it. Once you save it, it's going to pop up here. You'll see 100, test one, percentage discount, valid from August 1st to August 7th. And if you want to enable it or disable it, now this is enable. This is disable. 
when it's disabled, it's grayed out. When it's enabled, it's right there. So yeah, I always want to make sure I'll get that straight. <clears throat> so we went over orders, products, discounts, layout and styling. This is just for the, your checkout page. Um, I do believe Iggy is going to go over a checkout page with, with y'all, but I'm going to do this real quick with y'all with this checkout page. I'm, too, I'm not fond of long checkout pages. The reason why they're, 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 they're you want your customer to have the shortest journey to paying. You don't want to have them, okay, step one, step two, step three, step four, you don't know. So I always use like, so right in here, it says checkout page. So you see, it says two step checkout. We finna change that to one step checkout. Now, right here is gonna say empty cart. Y'all don't worry about that, I'm finna fix that. So when you go to products, it'll say, say cart checkout, then you go to product select. Now you see one page checkout. You see the PayPal is in here. You see the billing information, all of that is in here. Now you can allow customers to change the quantity. You can allow customers to choose to buy products. You can select the product, affiliate, and then once you do that, it'll actually, whatever your price is, that's how you know your price is in there. When you select the product and then you confirm it, it's gonna bring up whatever price, see 25.99, it's gonna bring up whatever the product was. And then I'm gonna show y'all that again. When you go in here, products, select the product, if it's the, you confirm it. I see it changed the price from $25.99 to $39.99. If I want the, the monthly, confirm it. If I want both, confirm it. It'll bring up both. And then you can allow it where they can choose between the products. So if they don't want this product, they can get this one. In here, you also have like you can change the color and all that, but this is this is not that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make sure y'all get to the one step product. In here, again, just in case y'all have people that you want to get their information, it'll say allow discounts. That's what we were just going through a minute ago. If you don't want the discounts to be allowed, then don't don't have this click. If you enable customer registration, this is this is like a forced registration. So no matter what they do, you're gonna get their information. They have to fill it out. If you're not selling, if you're not selling anything that's physical, you can put that on. That takes away the address stuff. If you got your email marketing list set up, you click here. It'll confirm and it'll set your email list up. And then you go and put your tags. This is a one step funnel. It's one and done. You do not have to. On, on that right on that previous one. So we would be able to, if we're selling the digital product, collect the information and add it to our email marketing list. Mm -hmm. it, so this one, this when I did that email customer registration what that's mm -hmm. going to do that's going to force them to put that in there what it's okay. going to do is go straight back here to your crm okay and then you can export it out or add it to your contact list which is in your email auto responder mm -hmm. i'm gonna make sure you get it all yeah i'm liking it i appreciate you mm -hmm. so so now this is one of this is one of the funnels that i went through and i was building Oh Lord, I need to use this. I really do. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this. Oh, but anyway, what you do, <laughs> what you doing in here, you preview your funnels. 
when you done to see what they look like. Always preview, because this was just like an affiliate marketing funnel for BizCo, but I wanted all of this. I put all this information in here about BizCo, TikTok, and just put everything that y'all could use basically for funnels. And then you could go in, fill out your stuff, go next. And then you see the process. Now I put, if I put in the promo code, I still got it on there. But it's, see it said it expired. Now, now people can't use it. But you always want to go through that process of looking through that, checking everything out. And this is what I was telling you about. So, so this gives you that forced registration. It won't let me go to a certain point until I fill it out. So that's really good. It's going to give you all the information. I would su say, suggest that you start um, putting in like um, phone number information right here. So this particularly, it was a field where we weren't getting like, it's a form field. Well, so with the form field, you're gonna put your email marketing list in here. When you add your list, then they'll get all of that stuff. They're gonna get your name, your email, hey, young man, and your phone number. You're gonna get all of that stuff, all of it. Make sure, make sure y'all get the, the um, phone number. Because you want to you wanna have dual ways of getting in contact with them. Text messages and email. 30% of all businesses is done through emails. 30%. That's where most of your revenue is going to come from. The other 70% will come. Go ahead. Will Bisco come um, in the near future with the text feature as well? It'll be separate. We already working on it. Oh, let's go. Yeah, we are. Would you be able to incorporate it into this system or would it just be something on the outside? That's what this export for. That's why I told y'all about the forced registration. Okay. See, I just did this. Yeah. And it popped up here. So okay. now when you go out, you export this out, mm -hmm. you export it out. And then when we come out with the text message system, you're going to mm -hmm. import it into your text message system. And okay. then you can send a text message blast out from it your text message system to your customers because y'all already own the text message system Yep, that we using. So that's what we, you, when y'all get the text message, y'all thought it was community. That ain't community. That's what we built out on Bisco side. So that's what y'all, that's what y'all getting messages from. So that's what I, that's what I want y'all to key on. That's, that's the good stuff. That's the meat and potatoes of this. So let me go back to this. All right. So in general, all of those things are easy. What was not so easy is learning the, the layouts of the widgets. So we did upgrade the widgets a little bit, added a new quiz and survey. Um, a lot of people ask me, like membership questions, form questions, these are what are lead generation and stuff right here, booking settings, all of those are under lead generation. Check out, check out store donations. You can take donations if you would like. And you can upload audio to BizCo as well. So if you want to have like a little song playing, you can. Like you get all you gotta do is just drag that over. And then it'll if if I had a song in here, let me see if I got any audio files. I don't know if I got any audio files, but if I do, I'm gonna show y'all what it does when you put it in here. Let me see. Can I ask, do you, um, does this system link with Zapier or Zapier? Yes, it does. What? Okay, so then that'll give, okay. You you do have the capability of putting in web hooks. You beat me to it. I was going to get there. 
Okay, no worry. Keep going. Get there. Go go ahead. Yeah, so web hooks you can put in there. Um let me get out of here. Cause this that's that's way more important than this. So web hooks again are in the funnels, and um what you want to do is go into applications and at, and to hear all the stuff that you can the emails at first, but then you want to do the web hooks, connect with a web hook, you go right here. And it's gonna connect with Zapier. You put that 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 you put your destination URL in here, and you can go straight into with Zapier. You can do whatever you need to do, ever you need to do. This changes the game. Yes, because um, I have a question. Um, <clears throat> so there's a lot of people. So I have a software that I created, and um, a lot of people they want to use or leverage what's the other software similar to bizco um click funnels right yeah and i'm a big fan of bizco um it's black on uh y'all did it right and so but nonetheless you know a lot of people aren't knowledgeable about bizco and what it could do but my only thing was i was pushing people to uh click funnels because i wasn't sure bizco could um leverage Zapier. Yeah. And so so I see that you can. And so this is perfect because what I want to do is I, I created a credit repair software, um, DIY software. Mm -hmm. And um, um and um as well as I, I also created the I mean a business side of it. It's called credit fixer and then credit fixer business. And so mm -hmm. a lot of businesses they want to leverage you know click funnels and then they want to integrate all their clients or leads into the software. And so I have the ability to do that, but I was really hoping that, you know, Bizco could do it because I want to push Bizco. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they thought about everything. So when y'all looking into, oh, um, sure. when you go into to the first thing of BWO, that first page is Bizco. That first page is Bizco. The next page is Kajabi. We're using a web hook to connect y'all in throw y'all to, to Kajabi where the courses are at. So y'all go log in and do all your stuff inside of Bizco and it did boom and it connects you straight to Kajabi. So yeah, we've been using we've been using webhooks for a minute. If y'all do, if you got, got um, if you do have the BWO and you go to the 100k blueprint it'll show you how to do that. That particular course, the 100K Blueprint, will show you all of that, the, how they really like made out the whole type and the whole entire system that we we run right now. So yeah, that that is that is it. And if you look, um, yeah, it's long though. It's long. 100K Blueprint was like that was like a six, almost 10, 12 hour course. But yeah, when you got API, all you need is the API key from here, and then you'll put it over there, and then you, you know, you'll be good to go. Uh, for all your Facebook pixels, get response. Um, eh. I'm not a active campaign and um, Mailchimp and Aweber are the top three auto response, but you don't have to use those anymore. I don't, I don't even know why we got them on here because you got, we have the uh, email auto respond in here now. So most of the stuff would just be for the web hooks. <clears throat> um, so go ahead. one other question, one other question. Cause I, last night I literally looked and searched uh, if Bizco was connected to um, uh, Zapier, but now I see how you're doing it. You, you're just using Zapier's webhook and it's going to go to um, Zapier. Then I just have to connect my API to get that post request and then put it into my software. Mm hmm Got it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Or either, even, even if you don't, you can actually come in here and custom. Like, people don't know that you can actually code inside of Biz Code. Wow. And, and you, can, you can really go in you could really go in, but I like those people that were a little bit more advanced and 
in in the stuff but the coding we have the capability to code inside of bisco and you can do whatever you want to you can do you can really take it there if you want to you can take it there to a whole nother level yeah that's my lane <clears throat> so yeah but but people like when i tell people that they 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 don't be looking at this custom code up here they just miss it i don't know why they miss it but they miss it but it's especially with the websites i would say that that would be the biggest key inside of the website but um uh, yeah that's a big that's a game changer right there i'm trying to think about it and uh, if y'all want to change your length your time frames to get out of that long time frame you can just get the regular time frame you just go in there and change that you want to change the actual languages you can change it there other personalizations uh here are tags and stuff that you can you can put these tags up here most people ask you about the like the <clears throat> how they how those tags pop up with your name and stuff they're located in personalization so you will copy one of these tags and then put in here and then they'll see your first and last name or, or whatever you want them to see but i think that's let me see it's six o'clock so this is the first little installment of this orientation i want to keep y'all at one hour because i'll be on here all night but this is the first installment we'll be back next monday sister kane this will be loaded up um i'll probably load this up to um the youtube page as well so y'all can go back and watch it if you have to and yeah so what y'all want what i want y'all to do is take this time take action go back Look at what you learn when I, once I post it up, you guys will have free access to it, free range to it, and you'll be good to go. And I'll be back next Monday and we'll go over, we'll replay a little part of this just to, for whoever missed some of it. And then we can go into some in-depth questions. Oh yeah, anytime, but other than that, you're welcome. Other than that, y'all have a blessed day. Go go party, go eat, go do what all y'all gotta do. Get some <laughs> nap if you got to. But then y'all have a good evening. Thank you. Right. See you You're next welcome. same time, right? Yeah, same time. It'll be around five, or if it's not five, it'll be like four thirty, and you'll get the you'll get the message. Okay. It will pop out there. All right, y'all. Thank you. Oh, have a good evening. Y'all be blessed. Peace. Okay.